There are a lot of things, unknown things in this world. As a matter of fact, one of, one of our scientists, who is a great scientist, who was a great scientist in America, he died recently. He's a Bengali. Rustum Roy was his name. You may wonder he's, why Rustum is not a Bengali name. No. Rustum was the name of a friend of his father. And because the friend died young, he named his son as Rustum. Roy, of course, is Roy is a Bengali name. Rustum Roy is the greatest scientist that, in my opinion, in America. He went to America at the age of 17 and then became a professor of uh, met metallurgy in Penn State University and retired at the age of 80. Still they said, you are our professor, till he died, because he was such a brilliant chap. He showed, he was reading a small stanza in the Rigveda called Urj, which said, the mother and father of all thing, energy is water. And then he found out the structure of water. And he found out how water has a very complicated structure. It's not H2O. It's a very complicated structure with a lot of loose bonds. And he was the one who found out that you can put a silver into the water, nanoparticles. It gets amalgamated into silver water, which is a very good antiseptic, antibiotic, very good for treatment. Actually, he was a PhD in metallurgy, but became professor of medicine in a big university in America, because he found out so many things about medicine from his ideas. And he was the one who showed that you can actually get energy from water. And he, you can, you know, really analyze water. If you, he found out how to get atomic hydrogen from water. In our laboratory, you can get molecular hydrogen from water. You are, what you leave behind is nascent oxygen. So if you put that for running an engine, the engine will be eaten up in one week. But Rustam Rai found out how to get atomic oxygen from water and by passing radio waves through water. So he kept water in a test tube and passed radio waves and out came atomic hydrogen. So he lit it. So he shows water burning. So he showed that Urj Sloka in the Rigveda is absolutely right. But he didn't get his Nobel Prize. 21 times Nobel nominated, but didn't get the Nobel Prize because each paper he wrote, he used to praise India. If you praise India, you will not get Nobel Prize. <laughs>